New Age Tactics, go back with another video. Light. So we got this. Olight again. Olight Obo. Obo. <laughs> Obo. <laughs> we got that Olight Obo. Obo. <laughs> so it's just kind of like light by your, it says light by your side. I thought it was cool. It was cheap as hell. I said to you when this first came out, because again, we don't we never look at dimensions. I thought this was bigger. And I was imagining I it was too. the opening scene of Guardians of the Galaxy. I might even put a still photo up of, of him holding that orb. When you pulled this box out, I was like, wait a second. Bro, when I got it, I was like, what the f*** is this? Like, this is, this is meant to be a lantern, this oval. This is a tent lantern, in a sense. This is 1995. However, I got it for, I think, 995. During and either price to me is. See, a good I almost price. just cut myself with this stupid thing. Um, <laughs> for Black Friday, I thought this thing was gonna be like a, a, a like, solid camping, like, like a tangerine, maybe even a grapefruit. Like, <laughs> and we got the box. I'm like, what the f is this little glass thing? But you know what? The, they do say in the description like it's good for kids, stuff like that. So you got. A couple modes. White light high, which is 55 lumens, can last for three hours. White light low, which is 3.5 lumens, for 56 hours. Red light, 7 lumens, 7 hours. Flashing red, 7 lumens, 30 hours. It says not many choices. Hmm. You go high or low. But the 30 hours red is very interesting in a survival scenario. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Charmander, go! <laughs> uh, where's the button? It's a good question. Is it on the base? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, there you go. Okay, dude, you were scaring me for a second. <laughs> Oh, there's actually... So the three charging ports are actually all buttons. So like high... And the middle one is like the... There you go. Oof. Oh, the f*** turn the red on. Cool little charging base. All about that base. No trouble. Well, I mean, unless this is like a coin. <laughs> oh my god. What the f? It is just a sticky coin. What? Alright, alright. Dude, that's a fing medallion. Solid fing metal medallion. I like that. Yeah, it, it does just like you said. No sh. It's like a, a flashlight charger. Solid move with this. I like it. I guess let's kill the lights and see what it Go looks right like. into it? I mean, we can't light meter this or anything. Nah, nah. Oh, actually, let me just see how I turn the red on. Okay, got it. Good. So I guess we're going to stay on the table with this one because it's uh, not a projector. Hold on, let me get the settings right. So this is your low mode. All right, not horrible. Uh it's not. It's not meant to see, but it's meant to like. You can see what's going on. I can see you moving, bringing the chair up. Okay, yeah, I can you know, see your face. Yeah, you know, like if this, we needed to sit here and talk. At least for I know where you are. Fifty-five hours, we're good. Fifty-five. That's that is right. Pretty damn that's good. what it said. Was fifty-five? Yeah, fifty-five. All right, so. That's cool. So okay, if, now we're talking. How yeah, long? Three hours. Okay. That's pretty All shitty. right. Uh, you know. And we are still talking magnetic tail cap. Mm-hmm. Okay, see, putting it up there does make a huge difference. Absolutely. Like, this I could see. A storm, you know what I mean? Camping. Sticking this on the ceiling. Camping yeah. easily. Not a problem. 
And, you know, if you got a battery bank, I mean, it's going to be a lot longer than that. True. True. A battery yeah, bank plugged directly. I can see everything out yeah, there. I can see, like, even the I magnets see, on I the wall. I can see pretty well down there. That's pretty solid. It's right. not bad. No. Uh, All right, so let's cycle through red light. Okay, so the red light. Oh, I just thought of Predator. <laughs> no, when you're on the, the fucking plane. All right, so I don't know what the GoPro sees of this in terms of red light. I feel like we're on a submarine. No, but red light's pretty cool because we're still seeing the same. We are. Ah, uh, you don't see as much in the distance, no, but, but the general the area. The immediate area, and it kind of f***s at your eyes. A little bit. Right? Am I, am I No, no, it definitely My eyes does. are feeling weird. But damn, dude, look at how easy it is to read. All right, yeah, I could if I needed to. If you needed to, I could see, like, perfectly. And again, it f***s with your eyes a little bit. I find the English. <laughs> no, actually, when I'm reading, it doesn't. Yeah, four light modes, warm light. Yeah, I could read pretty well under red light. And now red light's not supposed to destroy your uh, night vision, right? Correct. So, Correct. realistically, I can come back here and... I, yeah. can, I can see a lot better right come, now. Come walk back here and just look straight down. It's like, it's pretty wild, actually. Feels like you weren't even in the light. Honestly, even if I had stood here in the dark for two minutes, it would have seen the same amount. Yeah, so, okay. I mean, we obviously knew the benefits to red light, but, I mean, I, I like cool that. It's cool to put it to practice. And then, you got your SOS. I'm not even going to look at that. Cause oh, yeah, that's, yeah all right, you could turn that one off, because I'm seeing red and blue. Yeah, me too. What's up with that? Oh, it's red <laughs> and white. Red and white. And that's all the settings? Yep. Hmm. I like it, dude. For what it is? It for the the cost is where it's really at. Current setting. Ah, now see the Lux is only at sixteen. So while you were taking a piss, I did test the Lux of the light while it was up above. It was only 16 and a half. It, so, it, obviously, to Lux, it's very low, but to the human eye, the human eye can pick up much more. Charged or not fully charged? That's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. As of right now, though, I actually think the inflatable LED that we did was better. Uh, but but we're not it was really a little bit more money. We're not really comparing. We're, uh, we're not comparing. So... If we're not comparing, I think for twenty dollars, it's still a solid. Ten bucks. You got it for ten, but no, I'm I know, I know. At its full price, twenty dollars is this still worth it? What's cool about this thing is, and they market it this way too, which is actually pretty smart, is it is waterproof, IPX seven. In the thing, in the comments, the people were like, "I throw it in the tub with my kids, let them have some fun mm. with it." So. I think there are much better options for this situation. Like, this isn't necessarily the easiest to carry. This is, you know what I mean? I think it's a great size. No, uh, I'm not talking about size. I'm talking about just being, like, the round shape it is. Like, I feel like there's a lot size. flatter. You'd rather carry a flashlight. I really like it, though. Like, it's not, I'm not dogging it at all. You know, that this whole f***ing. That's, it's such an appeal. The magnetic yeah. cap is really... You're camping. You can click this to your tent stakes up in the top, and, and you'll light up your whole tent. Mm-hmm. You know? And my only real complaint is that only, it only has three hours. That's yeah. a real That's a real concern for me. You're right. You're right. Because that low setting was kind of crappy. That low setting does not really justify it fully. No. So, I will say I do like it as a product. I do don't believe I give it the stamp, though. No. I mean... I, eh. Damn, is this our first Olight that doesn't get the stamp? Holy shit, it might be. I'd have to go back and look at the other videos, but this might actually be the only... But again, I'm saying I like it. I'm not saying I'm against no, it. No, I, 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 I honestly like it. love it. Yeah. I just don't think that practicality-wise... Like, I think this is more of, like, a novelty... Like the review said, I I turn it on, throw it in the tub with my kids. 
Like, I think my kids would get a kick out of this, you know, throw it on red, chuck it in the tub, turn the lights out. Right. That is exactly what They're I was gonna thinking. They're going to have so yeah, much fun. Would, whoa. <laughs> but I also see a, a, a definite use in this. If we had no power right now, we put this on its highest setting, put it right above us. We could talk, write, draw, you know, exactly. draw, whatever we could do. We do all to. the things yeah. I need to do with that amount of, of like, giving me. It's just with that low setting, I was just a little thrown off by yeah. that low setting. But cost wise, all right, so if I got them for 10 bucks a piece, they're $20 a piece. But let's say you buy three of them. You got three running in a room. Like, this would illuminate a room by itself. Okay, if you're talking about multiple. Yes, but again, that three-hour runtime does kind of like womp womp. Even in the winter, it gets dark at what five o'clock, six, seven, eight. You're talking about eight o'clock. It's it's not. It's done. You know what I mean? And anyone that's gonna buy this most likely has some other sort of source of light. So this isn't gonna be your only like. Oh, if my old light yes. bulb goes out, I'm. I'm f right, right, right. I really like it. But survival, survival, hiking, it doesn't really fit into any category because, again, being that it's just like this ball, it's smaller than, it's a racquetball. It's smaller than a racquetball. Yeah, it is. Just under. I guess you could throw it in your EDC bag. I mean, it wouldn't, it's not like heavy or anything like I, that. Yeah, but. I was going to say, I felt like you were a little harsh with that one. I, I would carry something like this because of its size. But yeah, shape wise, Circular does not fit into our carrying. No one really. Right. Yeah. Correct. Like that's. Well, I, I'm. But again, about... actually, now though, knowing that it's much smaller than what I expected, it actually seems a lot better in that sense, though. Yeah, because the smaller actually is better. If it really was a full-handed ball, you're not carrying that in your EDC bag. This is EDC carryable. With a charger that is versatile, it can go for both your baton, if you're carrying a baton, a perun, or any one of those. The only, the only argument you're going to have, really, is all O-lights have a magnetic cap. We got a lot of flashlights that on the low setting will last like three, four days. So, is a lantern real? worth it when your flashlight can war last ten days long? And be brighter. You know, I don't know. I feel you on that one. I do, and like you I throw a diffuser one. on any of the flashlights, and bam, you have a lantern. You know what I mean. Also, side note, O light. Why the f did I get a blue one? Even though we ordered the red bottom, it's got a blue ring though. Yeah, but you know, with the Iron Man, they went. I'm gonna see where they killed it, dude. Was <laughs> so clever, motherfucking medallion. <laughs> and, it, and it even says, where, "Where did I read it? Package contents." O bulb US magnetic charging cable adhesive metal badge. <laughs> Look, <laughs> there's no secret we love O light. I, there's nothing bad to say about it. Do I think it gets the stamp? It, it doesn't really have a practicality um, I'll function. Put, I'll put it to you this way I guarantee you, whatever their updated version is, will probably get the stamp. Because this was their first time trying something like this. They always improve on the next model. And realistically, if the 55 lumens lasted 24 hours, I'd, I'd be getting stuff I'd, all day. I'd be fine if it was same lumens longer time. Yeah. That's, that's which what is I mean. what you do with most of your flashlights. So like, and it doesn't need to be it doesn't need to be brighter. The 55 is solid for like lighting up an immediate area. But three hours, that's where it kind of dies. If you said a day, damn. And I kind of feel like they built this as more of a novelty. You know what I mean? They build high power flashlights. You know what I mean? They they make hmm. probably some of the best flashlights on the market. You know, and this is kind of like a <laughs> here, like this is for your kids. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and this is like what's gonna happen? I'm gonna charge this up. I'm gonna throw it in a bathtub with the kids and let them have fun with it, and take it out, dry it off, and recharge it again. And if it ever comes down to a Scenario where I don't have power, I know I have a little bit of power here, yeah. but a little bit. That's, yes. that's the only yes. issue I'm having bit. with it. That's the bit. only issue I'm having with it is the three hours. But they do run a lot of sales on them too, so like it's not just Black Friday. I think that's the appeal to Olight as well. Is you wait long enough, you're gonna get a deal on one of them. That's probably any flashlight company. Next up, flashlight wise, we definitely got some through nights coming your way. Yeah, so yeah. we changed it up a little bit. I made sure that I didn't uh, go Olight crazy this. 
Uh, you still went out like crazy. <laughs> two or three? Is it? I think one. It, what, there might be one back there. Like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, hit that bell. Other than that, guys, New Age Tactical. Over and out.